वेलकम टू मिनतीस एजुकेशन फॉर सी एस आया एन टी ए यू जी सी नेट सेट जे आर एफ गेट जाम आई आई टी असर्शन ए कोलैटरल ट्रांजेक्शन टू वेजरिंग एग्रीमेंट्स आर वैलिड रीजन आर ओनली वेजरिंग एग्रीमेंट्स आर डिक्लेयर वॉइड अंडर सेक्शन थर्टी ऑफ द इंडियन कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एक्ट कोड्स ए ए इज ट्रू बट आर इज फॉल्स B A is false but R is true. C both A and R are true but R is not correct explanation of A. D both A and R are true and R is correct explanation of A. The correct answer is D. Assertion A is true. Collateral transactions to wagering agreements are valid. This means that contracts that are incidental to a wagering agreement but are not themselves wagering agreements are enforceable. Reason R is also true. Section 30 of the Indian Contract Act declares wagering agreements to be void. However, the section does not say anything about the validity of collateral transactions to wagering agreements. Therefore, both A and R are true and r is a correct explanation of a here is an example of a collateral transaction to a wagering agreement a and b make a wager on the outcome of a horse race c lends money to a so that a can bet on the horse race the wagering agreement between a and b is void but the loan agreement between c and a is valid This is because the loan agreement is a collateral transaction to the wagering agreement. It is important to note that the law on collateral transactions to wagering agreements is not uniform across all jurisdictions. In some jurisdictions, collateral transactions to wagering agreements may be void. Thanks for watching. Visit again